Hello, this is Dr. Kevin D. Borns, and I want to share with you something that's going on that's right, right here in the city of Oakland. That's right, the Gospel Bowl 2012 is going to be at the Abyssinian Missionary Baptist Church, 528 33rd Street, Oakland, California. That's right, the Gospel Bowl 2012 is going to be here. It is in honor of the late Pastor A.L. Cobb. And I want to tell you, we have some dynamic preachers that's going to be preaching. And your host will be Dr. K.D. Barnes of the Abyssinia Church. I'm looking forward to seeing you. We're going to have a great time. It's going to be preaching all day long. That's right, preaching all day long. One of the preachers that we're going to have is Bishop Keith Clark of the Word Assembly Church right here in the city of Oakland. Uh, they are. I saw a fella in the back when I was sitting down uh, waiting to come out. He had a camera. And a camera takes picture, and it captures the moment. Also, we're going to have Pastor A.L. Cobbs Jr. of the Providence Baptist Church in the city of Richmond. For an attack, Jesus was given in the position to launch his attack on the devil. And Pastor Johnny Leggett of the Bethany Baptist Church in the city of Oak. Man with a problem, with a power of collusion that he needed. Pastor Elliot Ivy of the New Beginnings Baptist Church in the city of Oakland. Oh, shucks. God will take care of you. Won't he do it today? Is there anybody here? No, he'll take care of you. And Pastor Leon McDaniel of the Paradise Baptist Church in the city of Oakland. Paul refused to stand before the Lord holding a grudge. Oh, sister. Don't let tomorrow come in holding a grip. And Pastor Larry Bryce of the People's Baptist Church in the city of Oakland. They are free. Like when you got in trouble, they were no way to be found. They were tied up just. They were no way to be found. And Pastor Todd Wheelock of the Antioch Baptist Church in the city of Oakland. And there they were fine bullets. And he ran until he found Jimmy laying in a puddle of blood. And he got to where Jimmy was. And also, Pastor Charles Hopkins of the Grace Baptist Church in the city of Oakland. Hey, they were stone, y'all. David put the stone in the slain shot. It began to slain the stone. God. Yeah. Look, we're going to have a great time. You need to make plans to be here. When is that going to happen? On January the 2nd. That's right, the 2012 Bowl, January the 2nd, uh, right here at Abyssinian Baptist Church, 528 33rd Street. And we have plenty of parking available. And remember, this is in honor of the late Pastor A.L. Cobb. We look forward to seeing you. God bless you. Here's my prayer. We'll see you. Amen. God bless you. Thoughts that we want you to leave out of here with. Pastor's gonna preach about. Friends, how are you? This is Pastor right Katie Boyce, and we are delighted that you decided to tune in to us today. Just reading here in 1 Corinthians chapter number 15 and verse. forward and seeing you. See you at 528 33rd Street, Oakland, California, Abyssinia Missionary Baptist Church. Hear the word, come and see. The real message. Amen.
it is misinterpreted, amen, amen, it is, it is misjudged, amen, and oftentimes, amen, when there's a misunderstanding, when things, uh, when we're saying something and it is misconceived, when it is misjudged, amen, uh, when it is misinterpreted, amen, uh, all of a sudden, amen, uh, we began uh, only to hear and not listen anymore. Can I get a witness of that? Why? Because we live in a, in a time, in a world, that everybody got to have the last word. Am I talking to the right people here today? Look at somebody and say, I hope you're not talking about you. Amen, amen, amen. Husbands have to have the last word. Wives have to have the last word. Brothers have to have the last word. Sisters have to have the last word. Children have to have, am I talking to anybody here today? Have to have the last word. Church members have to have the last word. Everybody wants to have the last word. And because of that people of God, many people can hear, but they just won't listen. Can I go listen to But let me encourage you, amen, by saying that, amen, if that's you, you got yourself under some, under, uh, some misunderstanding. I want to share with you today that when I was shouting out my heart and mind, amen, that even though you had some misunderstanding, maybe what you really need to do is just listen. Are y'all sitting there? Look at somebody talking to the justice. Yes. But then not only do we find it, uh, amen, about mishaps, and not only, Charlie, do we find it, amen, about misunderstanding, but anybody ever know that uh, when we make mistakes, somebody ought to talk to me here today, when we make mistakes, mistakes, you made a mistake, amen, this mistake is an error, amen, it is a blunder, it is when you have lapsed, amen, it is when you have made a mess of some things, can I get a witness today, it's when you have slipped, amen, and oftentimes, when we have slipped, amen, uh, when a person has lapsed, when a person has made a mess of some things, amen, uh, oftentimes we look at it and for whatever reason, amen, uh, it stops us from listening uh, and we only hear. Can I get a witness today? But I want to encourage you, if you have made some mistakes, amen, uh, you are not alone. Can I get a witness today? Uh, and the reason why you're not alone is because of the fact that all of us have made some errors in our life. All of us have made some blunders. Some say Barnabas wrote it. Some say Apollos wrote it. 
And then there were others that were saying that it's a black hole. And I tell you this all the time, that it really doesn't matter to me who wrote it. I'm just glad it was written. Can I get a witness in there? He comes in, and, 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 and he's, he's saying in chapter 3, verse number 15, he said, where it is said today. Y'all see that? Now, watch this. The first thing that he's letting us know is that today means that there's only a limited time. Today means that, watch this, it's a warning. It's, a, it's something to adhere to. Amen. What he says, today. Can I get a witness in there? Now, watch this. Let me tell you what was going on. It was really referred to the Israelites when they refused, amen, to do what the Lord had said. Now, it goes back to, watch this, it goes back to Numbers chapter 13 and also chapter 14, when the Bible tells us there, now, it tells us about how God had made a promise, and that God had made a promise not only to Abraham or Abraham, but he had made it to them, his children also. So he made this promise, and when God, how many know that when God makes a promise, you can count on the promise that God made? Oh, y'all there? So he made this promise, amen. And the Bible says that, watch it says that they appointed 12 spies to go over. He had made a promise to them now, that they could go and have this land, amen. Now, when he made the promise, the Bible says, amen, now, that they sent out 12 spies. And they went out and they sent out 12 spies. When they sent out the 12 spies, the spies were to go and, and check out the location uh, and also check out the cities, amen, where the land was. Can I get a witness? And the Bible says that when they went out, amen, those guys, those 12 spies, amen, 10 of them came back. I wish I had some other readers in there. 10 of them came back, and 10 of them said, well, wait a minute. We went out to check out the land and everything else, but we discovered that they had some awesome walls. They had some big, tall walls that, 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 that we can't just deal with. And not only that, they had some giants, and the giant got to hear my readers. Uh, they had some giants, and these giants were so big, they made us look like grasshoppers. And by talking to somebody the other day, he said they made them like grasshoppers. And because of that, what they were saying is, is that the task that God had given to us, or that you gave us, that what God said, it is impossible. Better get a witness in today. But that was the ten that came back. The Bible said that there was two other spies that was with them. Help me here by the readers, by the name of Caleb and Joshua. Y'all ought to help me here today. Caleb and Joshua, amen. Some of our members got their grandkids named Caleb and Joshua, amen. Well, Caleb and Joshua said, wait a minute. We checked out the land too. And I see that we could be a success in occupying. I wish I had a witness in there. And getting this land. Come to this land. Amen. In other words, they were saying that ain't that too hard for God. And what we're doing is uh, we are not exercising in the power of the Israelites, uh, but we are talking about the power of God. All we got to do is stop delaying uh, what the Lord keeps on saying. Can I talk to you? And so he comes in the text and he says, Today, uh, <laughs> if you will hear his voice, now, watch this. He says, today, if you will hear, the word hear, it means to hearken, but it doesn't just mean hearken. It also means to listen. Are y'all with me today? And he says, today, if you will listen to his voice. Are y'all there? Now, notice, amen. Somebody said, well, remember, how am I going to listen to his voice? Amen. Well, here's the way that you can listen to his voice. Anybody know that you listen to his voice through the word of God? I wish I had a witness today. And listen, you got to listen to his word. First of all, you got to listen to it personally. Amen. Now, you got to block out everybody else uh, and say, Lord, speak to me. Now, speak to me, Lord. Uh, but not only do you have to 
Hello, this is Dr. Kevin D. Barnes, and I want to share with you something that's going on that's right, right here in the city of Oakland. That's right, the Gospel Bowl 2012 is going to be at the Abyssinian Missionary Baptist Church, 528 33rd Street, Oakland, California. That's right, the Gospel Bowl 2012 is going to be here. It is in honor of the late Pastor A.L. Cobb. And I want to tell you, we have some dynamic preachers that's going to be preaching. Your host will be Dr. K.D. Barnes of the Abyssinia Church. I'm looking forward to seeing you. We're going to have a great time. It's going to be preaching all day long. That's right, preaching all day long. One of the preachers that we're going to have is Bishop Keith Clark of the Word Assembly Church right here in the city of Oakland. Uh, they are. I, I saw a fella in the back when I was sitting down uh, waiting to come out. He had a camera. A and a camera takes picture and it captures the moment. Also, we're going to have Pastor A.L. Cobbs Jr. of the Providence Baptist Church in the city of Richmond. Yes. For an attack, yes. Jesus was given in the position yes. to launch his attack yes. on the devil. Yes. And Pastor Johnny Leggett of the Bethany Baptist Church in the city of Oak. Man with a problem, with a pound of solution that he needed. Yeah. Pastor Elliot Ivy of the New Beginnings Baptist Church in the city of Oakland. Oh, shucks. God will take care of you. Won't he do it today? Is there anybody here? No, he'll take care of you. And Pastor Leon McDaniel of the Paradise Baptist Church in the city of Oakland. Paul refused to stand before the Lord holding a grudge. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sister. Don't let tomorrow come in holding a grudge. And Pastor Larry Bryce of the People's Baptist Church in the city of Oakland. They are your friends. But when you got any trouble, they were no enemy friends. When time got tough, they were no enemy friends. But I'm And Pastor Todd Wheelock of the Antioch Baptist Church in the city of Oakland. And where they will find bullets. And he ran until he found Jimmy laying in a puddle of blood. And he got to where Jimmy was. And also, Pastor Charles Hopkins of the Grace Baptist Church in the city of Oakland. Hey, they were stoned, y'all. David put the stone in the slain shot. It began to slain the stone. God. Yeah. Look, we're going to have a great time. You need to make plans to be here. When is that going to happen? On January the 2nd. That's right, the 2012 Bowl, January the 2nd, uh, right here at Abyssinian Baptist Church, 528 33rd Street. And we have plenty of parking available. And remember, this is in honor of the late Pastor A.L. Cobbs. We look forward to seeing you. God bless you. Here's my prayer. We'll see you. Amen. God bless you. We have a saying in our church that goes like this. If you don't have a church home, is the place you want to be. If you don't have a church home,